you are feeling a sense of grief because things are changing because you are no longer feeling connected to the way you used to do things. And as that is leaving, so too are the individuals that you felt close to in that time. Because they are still connected with the energy of the things that you are no longer interested in. Hey everybody, it's Tanya here. Today I'm going to do a really neat painting with the energy of the blue avians again. And this one in particular is all about being a star seed and going through that phase where we begin to lose the people around us. And whether that is friends or romantic relationships, coworkers or interest groups, and it can be a really challenging time. And so they came through with a really wonderful message about that state of awareness and how you can move through it. And so I'm going to create a painting along to that channeled message, which I'll play in a minute. Usually these paintings take quite a bit of time, so I will speed up the video in places. If you find that a little bit challenging, check in the description. You can click the three dots or the more button or the down button, and you'll see the description with all the chapter links, and you can jump to the part that feels great for you. And I just wanted to share a little bit about what I'm going to be playing with today, some of the different colors. So you might have seen this before in a different video. I have this lovely paint set. They're mostly Daniel Smith colors. And you can see my very well used palette. Um, I'm going to use this wonderful color, which is a granulating paint, which means it's got more than one pigment in it. And so when the water starts to break down the binder, the paints will separate and you'll get different colors. So I'm going to play with a bit of that and some blues and we'll see what comes forward. I did this in another video. It's actually a lax one where you can watch the whole process of the video. And I'll put a link to that up there. And so, yeah, I'm going to get started with that. And thank you so much for being here. If you like this kind of content, please do like, share and subscribe. <laughs> it really helps to get this content out to more people that need it. And if you find it helpful, please let me know. I'm going to get started painting. All right, I catch you on the other side. Doo -doo -doo. We are the higher vibrational frequencies of consciousness that you have termed the blue avians. We will address to you today this situation that many of you find yourselves in when you are new to the awakening process, struggling with your humanness on your day-to-day -day existence and things have changed and you have discovered this openness within that you are now connecting to your spiritual being in your physical body and it is a sense of expansion and in that expansion there is a shift within you that is reflected on all levels and it is at its simplest that it is making space for what is yet to come. It is making space for you to remember who you are. It is making space to accept uh, and be exposed to different types of information and to learn what is correct for you, what is not. These, again, always harken back to the discussions of discernment. Yes, how do you use your ability to choose what works for you and what does not? And you are in this position you are finding where those who have been close to you are no longer that way. They are suddenly not interested in what you have become focused on. You are suddenly not interested in the old ways, the old connections, the relationships that you had together on all levels, you see. Uh, and so this is what begins to create this divide that you are perceiving as a split. And you begin to notice that friends and families and co-workers, situations, energies are falling away. You are no longer interested, or perhaps it feels like it is the other way around. They are no longer interested in you. And that again is simply because there is an opening that is happening. And as it is happening, you are remembering that there is more to your experience than you had ever thought possible. And so you are exploring. It is a fun time, is it not, on one hand, where you are excited. There is this new information. There are new uh, concepts, ideas. Perhaps you are discovering new people, new uh, writing and videos and internet connections, groups, and 
all of the way that information is created and passed and shared. And yet, on the other hand, you are feeling a sense of grief because things are changing, because you are no longer feeling connected to the way you used to do things. And as that is leaving, so too are the individuals that you felt close to in that time. Because they are still connected with the energy of the things that you are no longer interested in. And so it can be a period of uh, disconnect, where you are bridging these two states of being and wondering, do I want to stay here? But yet when I go back to these situations and these people, I might love them, but I don't like the conversations that we are having. I don't like the uh, interests that we are following anymore. It doesn't feel right. It makes me feel tight and constrained, like I want to break out. And so you seek the other. And the other is exciting and new. And it makes you feel conflicted because you feel you want to follow it, but yet, there is a fear that you are going to lose. There is a fear that you will have to do it on your own. And so to view it from a higher perspective, it truly is an opportunity to decide which way do you want to go and to learn how to trust your instinct, your intuition, your heart space because the rational mind will create the scenarios and the ideas and the justifications and the reasons why you should stay or go. And learning to connect that, again, it is a bridge position, yes? You're connecting your rational mind, your thought, your brain into the spiritual beingness that resides within your body, in your physical body, in the area of the heart. For when you feel love and joy and excitement and happiness, where do you feel this in your body? Most often you will feel it in that area. For this is where your energy is connecting out to those different people, places, ideas, scenarios. And so going through this position of shifting from one interest to another is truly just your beingness changing its frequency, its vibration. As always, we remind you that vibration is simply that. It is not better or worse. You are not in a better position, a higher position, a place where you are better than. For this is a challenging concept for many to move through. So we remind you and leave it there for you to play with this idea. But as you are in that bridge position between what has worked for you before and what you feel you need to move into, it gives you again this opportunity to choose. What is feeling correct? Where do I feel that I am going to have the most benefit? What is working for me right now? Follow what makes your heart feel open. Let go of what does not. And so if you are feeling in this moment sadness, grief, anxiety, fear, at the loss or potential loss or shift in relationship of those that you have been with up to this point because you are no longer interested in what they have interest in, then allow yourself to feel that. And this is what will make that difference. Allow yourself to feel. Do not deny it because it is a position of change and in the change there is a shift of state and a shift in the human emotion from one to the other. And then you can move forward into what is feeling correct and how to make this choice again goes back to trusting your intuition to trusting the feeling that you have in your body and being to do one scenario and ask yourself in this scenario with these others with this information with whatever it is that you are connecting over 
Does it feel right, good, open, expansive, joyful? Or does it make you feel perhaps tired or stressed out or anxious or fearful or like there is a holding on? And then once you have this awareness of one state versus the other, you have the choice. Do you wish to continue in that state or do you wish to shift and go to another? The choice is for you. So in these moments, just before you have shifted to the next and you are feeling this stress and anxiety and this state of perhaps sadness and grief, allow yourself to sit within it. Take the time to connect in with your physical body. Practice the self-care that works for you. Allow yourself to come into quiet space. Allow yourself to uh, enjoy meditative space, whether that is sitting and meditating with music or quietude, whether that is walking in nature or journaling. Allow your mind to be still and there will be the answer. There will be the feeling within and there will be the ease of the state that is causing pain. And so we wish for you so much love and joy as you go through this state and know that there is always a shift. As difficult as it is in this now moment, what is coming forward will be so much easier. And so we hope that you are finding this of use in this now moment. It is our deepest pleasure to be here to bring forward these teachings. We are delighted to share our knowledge. We are delighted to share our light. And so we shall say goodbye until the next. We are the higher vibrational frequencies of consciousness that you have termed the Blue Avians. And it is always a pleasure to speak with you. What a wonderful process that was, and I am so happy with how this light code painting turned out. I can't believe that it ended up looking like a bird. It was so totally unplanned as usual. Well, hey, thank you for hanging out with me. I am Tanya. I am a light code activator. I am a crystal whisperer, and I am a channeler of spirit. And if you enjoy this content, please do check in every Sunday at five. I'm posting a new video just for you to help you in your awakening. Thanks so much for joining me, and I will catch you guys next time.